Good Wednesday morning to you. Yes, it is Wednesday. Uh, by the end of the day, you will be three-fifths of the week through three-fifths of the week. Are you excited? Are you on fire? Are you moving? Or maybe you're having a bit of a Wednesday hump. How am I going to do this? Well, that's what these videos are for, is to get you and get you over those humps so that you can stride confidently into the day. And I thank you very much for watching, whether you're watching on uh, YouTube, social, or via my newsletter. Thanks to each and every one of you. Who am I? I am Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com. Providing, excuse me, providing personalized decluttering solutions to those challenged with overwhelm and procrastination. Yep, yep, procrastination, that's the theme this week. Um, so that they can thrive in a calm and productive environment. Sound like something you'd like to learn more of? I know it is. So just hold that one, I am the one lady after all. We'll hold that one thought. We will give you your next one step to take. How many, uh, Lisa? Yeah, that's right. One step to take in about four minutes from now. Uh, we're talking this week about, yeah, procrastination. The book, uh, Eat That Frog, published by Brian Tracy in the mid-90s. And we're looking at some things that... He, he says that I, that I totally agree with, and you may totally agree with, and some things that we may not totally agree with. The basic uh, premise of the book is if you, to earn your day's wage, you need to eat a frog, then eat the frog first. If you need to, if you have to eat two frogs, eat the uglier one first. Okay, so, um, now, that may not necessarily work. You may not be able to do, your brain may not work for that particular task. For, I mean, use the example of I can't do creative work first thing in the morning. I, I, it, my brain just won't work. So, But I can do it in the afternoon. So if you have to, you may want to do a little bit of it in the morning and then the rest of it later. I suggest that you don't leave it all until another time. At least get some of it done. Get that all-important feeling of accomplishment. He does say to make a decision, what I always say, make a decision that I'm that you're going to stop procrastinating and get things done and writing things down, write everything down, write the cat down. I don't care what you do, just write everything down. Uh, make, make suggested deadlines for yourself or hard deadlines sometimes. Uh, the list of things to do, what's needed to do to achieve these these things. Uh, if you need to make a color coded calendar, well, you better go to Dollar General and get yourself some some highlighters. Hmm? Yeah, even little things like that. Uh, yesterday we talked about first things first and overwhelm. Now the Pomodoro principle comes into play that at 80% uh, of your results will come from 20% of your efforts. Where they came up with it, I don't know. But it is true. For example, I get, uh, uh, I meet most of my clients through public speaking and direct reach out. So that's what I focus on. I do do the newsletter and all the social content. Um, but my main energetic focus is in speaking and reach outs. Uh, you, will have, you will have different things. Um, he suggests, uh, uh, oh, remember, there will never be enough time to do everything you have to do, so don't beat yourself up for what you didn't get done. Just resolve that today is gonna be a better day. He suggests a plan every day in advance, and yes, I do agree with, them, with that to a certain extent. Life happens. But if you have a rough outline of how the day should go, then it will go a little bit more smoothly. He does, to my mind, have way too many lists. Uh, lists of lists of lists, and I, uh, and he categorizes them down, and he's got five different categories. And I personally would find that very difficult to navigate. You might do better. So again, everything, we're just discussing the book. This is like a book club for the week. He suggests a single handle to one task. Um, uh, so basically start it and do not complete it until, uh, do, don't leave it until it's finished. That is not always possible. 
And if you do find yourself leaving that task, well, then you may say, well, I should have been able to finish it, et cetera, et cetera. Don't do that. Do what you can. If you can do the whole thing, it's great. If you can schedule small chunks of that, of that task, then that is even better. Tomorrow we address what's stopping you. In the interim, download, you know, scroll down below, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. While you're there, you know what to do. Go ahead, book that quick and no cost call with me and let's talk about how I can help you declutter everything. Get decluttered for life faster than you ever thought possible and just feel amazing about yourself. Sound good? All right. Book that call. Take care. Bye for now.